A safe haven where information is only one touch away. This rehabilitation center teaches blind people vital skills and helps them interact with other members of their community. Gamal has learned how to make jewelry and crafts. The money she makes selling her handiwork allows her to lead an independent life. If you come here to learn, the center will rehabilitate you. They don't treat you like a statue, like at home. Come and learn and don't give up on your dreams. If you come here, you will change. You won't just be an ordinary blind person. You will be great. Since the rehabilitation center opened in 1987, students across East Africa have enrolled to further their studies and careers. Well, I wanted to come and study here because I have to do some research. I wanted to learn by myself instead of asking others to help me. We teach them how to use computers. This program teaches them how to read the keyboard, how to memorize letters and numbers, and how to use a calculator. Currently, the Sudanese government funds the organization. The 83 students enrolled at the moment receive free training. If they choose to stay on after they've graduated, some students are employed as trainers. I studied here and now I have become a trainer for other blind people. I studied carpentry but now I'm working with recycling plastic bags and bottles. Blind people have a great capacity for musical talent. We're trying to help them be active in their society, not isolated. As the center helps blind students reach for their dreams, it's clear the trainer's family believe that disability is definitely not the same as inability. Susan Mongeli, CGTN.